Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special episode for you. I am going to show you how to take your Osmo Pocket footage and edit right on your iPad using CapCut. I have been a professional video editor for the past 10 years and I am primarily using Adobe Premiere. However, I know there is a cost barrier to that. CapCut is free and is great on the mobile devices such as an iPad or a mobile phone. I'm very, very impressed with this software. Let's open CapCut and let's get into it. I do have an Easter egg for everyone too. I have this cute little editing dinosaur. Let me know how many times you see it in the comments below. Okay, now as I did mention, you can bring in your footage using the DJI Mimo app. This is the app that I use to bring in my footage. Now let's open CapCut. I am going to start a new project here. And as you can see, it opened up my files already that are in my recent folder in my photos file. And I'm going to add all these video files to my project. Okay, so as you can see, it did add these all in order here. So we have my shot here with the airplanes. We have a wide shot from inside the airport. We have a shot going out the window, and then we have these shots here from Huntsville, Alabama that we are gonna add it together. It's pretty cool that it adds it all into a timeline already for you in the order that you've selected your files. So we're gonna to go to the beginning of our timeline, and now I'm gonna show you how to add sound to this. So if you click on the sound button down here, you will see that CapCut does have a library of sounds that you could choose from. I'm gonna to go to the vlog category, and I'm going to just test out a couple of sounds here. I really like this Chill Vibes song. That song sounds great. It really has the vibe that I'm going for. I'm going to just listen to a couple of these others to see what the other options are. It's a little bit too corporate for what I am going for. That song sounds great, but it's a little bit too Miami for me. So I'm going to go back to chill vibes here. And I know my, a lot of my footage is shot at nighttime, so really this is kind of the music I am aiming for. So I'm just going to add this to my timeline here. And as you can see, it automatically added it to my timeline. So now I think it's pretty cool is I'm going to just zoom in here and we're going to cut our video to the music. So I'm going to listen. And I think what I am going to do is I'm going to cut it to the third one here. So to cut it, you just drag it over. And as you can see, it's going to land right on the beat and it's going to cut to the next sound. I'm also going to mute all the clips up above because I don't want any of the background music to be disrupted. So now let's go through and make a short one minute video here. Feels still a little long to me, so I am going to bring this back to that second clip. Now I know this shot doesn't really take off until a little bit farther down, so I'm going to just drag and see where I want to use it from. Probably right about there, so I am going to direct grab this end here and just bring it along, and it's going to cut it right to that point. And then again, I just want this for a short beat here. So maybe we'll go like that. Now we have the window shot. The window shot, I know I zoom in and a little bit forward. So let's just zoom to that point where I'm going into the window. And I almost want it to appear as like I'm zooming into the window and now I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. So I am going to make this one really, really short, almost to a beat exactly. And you kind of zoom in a little bit here. You could either use your fingers to tap to zoom, or if you have a keyboard, you can use command plus and minus. So let's just drag this back so this one falls exactly on that beat. So we just want this clip to be a beat long, so we're just going to drag it back there. And now one thing you can do is you can add different effects and different transitions that you want to add. So I'm going to add a cross dissolve here, which is part of the free version. They call it mix, but it does exactly what a cross dissolve does. So it's going to dissolve into the next shot, and then we're going to do it again here. Okay, and it does give you a little preview there, which is kind of cool. So then I hit that checkpoint. Now if you go back and you press play, it's almost like I'm in the airplane and now I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. There was a really nice sunset the one night when I was there. Mm -hmm. 
It is a beautiful sunset, but it does start a little bit later in the shot. So let's take this and cut it to about right there. So we're kind of getting the beginning of the sunset in the shot. Love that. And then let's end it on that beat right there. So if we just drag this and we can drop it right there. Perfect. And now we're going to go into the city of Huntsville. This area I was at was very beautiful. Everything was very new built. They had a cinema, they had a whole shopping center. But again, we just want a short clip of this. The wind was so crazy that night that the water was almost going horizontal. I really enjoyed walking, so I wanted to be able to step out and see the area. I'm walking around Huntsville a little bit. This clip feels very long, so we're gonna shorten it. Let's drag it over to three beats. That, should, that looks good for me. So now we have this wonderful waterfall shot, and then we're going right into the city. Then a shot of me walking. My hair was going crazy that night, so I do apologize for that. That's a really long shot of me walking, so let's make that short. And I do like my little smile in there, so let's keep that, and then let's just drag this over a little bit. And as you can see, it's a little shorter. Fix the hair, looks good. Then the next morning, I did end up finding this cool coffee house called Honest Coffee, and I really enjoyed it. See what we can do with this footage here. This is the interior, also a beautiful shot. And then my wonderful latte. And again, this is just dragging and dropping, which is awesome. Like if I had this software growing up, I would have gone crazy with it. When I was younger, I used to have to pirate all this software to be able to use it, but not anymore. I do pay for my Adobe subscription. All right, cool. So now you can see we put together a little timeline and if I zoom out, it's about a minute long, which is exactly what I was going for. Say you did have a shot that you did want to switch up. So say I wanted to switch up the shot of the cinema and then the shot with the fountain. It's as easy as putting your finger and dragging across. And now those two shots are rotated, which I'm so impressed with. This software is great. And if you wanted to, you can come over here and click and you could view everything at full screen and press play. And it plays back in full screen at almost real time, which is so impressive. There's not a lot of rendering that's happening in the background. And again, I am on an iPad, so I am not on a souped up computer right now. I'm doing this all right on my iPad here. Okay, so there are a couple of cool effects that I really want to show you guys. I couldn't believe it when I saw this. There is a warp stabilize effect in here. So if I click on this coffee shop, you can see if I play it back, my shot is a little bit on the wobbly side, which is fine. I wanna be able to stabilize this. So if you click on it, and then if you scroll over here, there's a stabilize effect, which this is so impressive. This is a free software and you're getting this. So if you click on it, and then you could choose how much you wanna stabilize it. So if you don't want it cropped in a lot, I'm gonna just go with the recommended stabilization. And just like that, two seconds later, it is stabilized. And now let's play it back. shot looks awesome. Another thing that you can do in here that I want to show you guys is you can color grade in here. So if I click on my file here, and then if I go to adjust, look at all the different options they're giving you. So I can adjust the brightness, which is really similar to exposure. I can adjust the contrast. So let's make the shot a little bit more contrasty. I can even change the color temperature, which is wild. So I can warm this up or cool it down. I'm going to cool it down a little bit because I really want to bring out those blues in the sky. You can add grain, you can add a vignette. Shadows, I can bring up my shadows a little bit here. This is so impressive for a free software. The next filter that I do want to show you guys is really, really cool. So they have a voiceover feature in this, which is so impressive. So if I click out of that and then I click on audio again. Now, if I click on voiceover, what it is going to do is it is going to let me record a voiceover as I'm watching my video. To be able to record your voiceover while you're watching your video, I think makes it a lot easier than recording it and then trying to bring it in and post. So let me show you how that is done. So you just click the voiceover and then once you click this, it is going to give me a little countdown to when it's going to start. Hey, what's up guys? I recently flew to Huntsville, Alabama, where I spent a couple of days 
Once I arrived, Huntsville was very beautiful. I had this amazing sunset out my window and I knew I wanted to go outside and explore the area and see what they had to offer. So if I press stop there, and then I could press this check mark and it is going to bring my voiceover directly into my timeline, which is pretty cool. So then let me bring my volume down on my music so you could hear my voiceover. And let me play this from the beginning for you guys. Hey, what's up guys? I recently flew to Huntsville, Alabama, where I spent a couple of days. Once I arrived, Huntsville was very beautiful. I had this amazing sunset out my window and I knew I wanted to go outside and explore the area and see what they had to offer. So as you can see, it's so easy just to add your own voiceover to this video and you know, it's perfect for social media. I can take this video, I can export it, I can put it on my Instagram. Another thing I did want to show you guys is you can add captions directly within inside CapCut too. So if I unclick that, scroll over, you can see there's a captions button. So if I click on the captions button, Okay, so if I click on this auto captions button, I'm pretty sure it'll do it automatically. So let me do it from the voiceover that I recorded and detected language is going to be English. And let's see how this does. Awesome. So now I can see my captions there and let's play this back to see how it looks. Hey, what's up guys? I recently flew to Huntsville, Alabama, where I spent a couple of days. Once I arrived, Huntsville was very beautiful. I had this amazing sunset on my window and I knew I wanted to go outside and explore the area and see what they had to offer. So as you can see, that's incredible. The captions look great and they're exactly to the point of what I had to say. Now, if you did record your own audio, I do want to show you how you can bring that in as well. So if I go back here to the main menu out of the captions one, I can click on audio and I can extract it from a video. Let me delete this first, extract it from a video. And then if I go up here, this video here, yeah, I recorded the audio here. Let me add that. And then you could see it added the audio directly to my timeline. Okay, now let me run through this and cut this quickly to my voiceover. And let's see what we get. Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk to you about my recent trip. I'm gonna bring up the volume on it because it does sound a little low. Hey Let's everyone. Today. Sounds pretty high, so let's bring that back. Hey a everyone, little. today I want to talk to you about. Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about my recent trip to Huntsville, Alabama. I flew down there for a couple of days. The neighborhood I stayed in was awesome. It was very walkable. They had a ton of shopping in the area. They even had their own movie theater. Okay, so I did say movie theater there. So let's see if I could flip these two shots here. So I just hold down and it's as easy as that. And now the movie theater is going to be shown there, which is incredible. In the area, they even had their own movie theater. And it was just a couple of streets that were very close to my hotel. They had this amazing fountain, unfortunately. So same thing with this. I talk about the fountain a little bit later. So let's switch these two clips here. And it was just a couple of streets that were very close to my hotel. They had this amazing fountain. Unfortunately, at nighttime, it was very windy, but I still took advantage and I wanted to get outside to get a walk in. You can see how windy it was. Grab this clip and make it a little bit longer. All right, so you can see my hair clip needs to start right there. So let's bring it down. Then maybe we can show a little bit more of the city here. They had this amazing fountain. Unfortunately, at nighttime it was very windy, but I still took advantage and I wanted to get outside to get a walk in. Okay, so let's drag my clip out there a little bit more so we show a little bit more of myself walking in Huntsville. Advantage and I wanted to get outside to get a walk in. You can see how windy it was here. My hair was flying all over the place. All right, so then let's bring in the coffee shop here because I know I talk about the coffee shop next. The next morning we had much better weather and I was able to sneak out to Honest Coffee Roaster. So I do want to hold this clip a little bit longer until I'm done finished saying Honest Coffee. The next morning we had much better weather and I was able to sneak out to Honest Coffee Roasters. Generally when traveling I try to find a couple of coffee shops that are in the area that I can check out. The decor and the so let's bring out the decor shot a little bit more because I do talk about it a little bit longer there. And then we can drag this clip out a little bit more too because I am still talking about honest. Generally when traveling, I try to find a couple of coffee shops that are in the area that I can check out. 
The decor and the coffee here was amazing. I was able to work here for a couple of hours before flying home. I got this latte. The latte art was awesome and I was very, very happy with the taste. I did get decaf because I didn't want to stay up all night. Anyways, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cool, so now let's end my clip there. So if I just bring this back and then same thing with the audio so I can bring on my audio clip there too. So if I zoom out and then just grab my audio and I can drag it to the end. I'm going to delete this little end graphic they add on. And now if I want to watch my video back in full, I can just click play. Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about my recent trip to Huntsville, Alabama. I flew down there for a couple of days. The neighborhood I stayed in was awesome. It was very walkable. They had a ton of shopping in the area. They even had their own movie theater. Awesome. So as you can see, this is so impressive. I was able to create this mini vlog that I'll be able to post on Instagram within a couple of minutes and the video looks great. And all this is shot on my DJI Osmond Pocket 3. So then if you want to export it, you just go up here and you click on this little export arrow right there and it is exporting now in a matter of minute. And look at that, it's ready to share. It shows me that I can share it on Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram stories, and it's all set for me. Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk to you about my recent trip to Huntsville, Alabama. I flew down there for a couple of days. The neighborhood I stayed in was awesome. It was very walkable. They had a ton of shopping in the area. They even had their own movie theater. And it was just a couple of streets that were very close to my hotel. They had this amazing fountain. Unfortunately, at nighttime, it was very windy but I still took advantage and I wanted to get outside to get a walk in. You can see how windy it was here. My hair was flying all over the place. The next morning we had much better weather and I was able to sneak out to Honest Coffee Roasters. Generally when traveling, I try to find a couple of coffee shops that are in the area that I can check out. The decor and the coffee here was amazing. I was able to work here for a couple of hours before flying home. I got this latte, the latte art was awesome and I was very, very happy with the taste. I did get decaf because I didn't want to stay up all night. Anyways, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, I hope you learned something today. And as you can see, CapCut is an amazing software on your iPad and really enables you to edit your Osmo Pocket 3 or any footage in that matter on the go using just an iPad. You can also download this on your iPhone and they do have a desktop version as well. As always, thank you so much for watching my video and tune into the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.